Hello everyone, welcome back to our fourth grade classroom. It is week 13 of the second grading period. Let's get started on our week of learning. Welcome, welcome. If you are new to my channel, my name is Marieli Sanchez and I'm a fourth grade teacher in South Florida. Today is Monday, November 15, 2021. I'm coming to you at the end of the day to give you a glimpse of our agenda and some of the things that we accomplished for today. All right, so we started this morning with our weekly review and then the students were working on finishing their animal poems from last week. We read the article, Sharks Under Attack. We used our space strategy and we completed Inman Idea Details and Summary Graphic Organizer. For bonus reading, the students had software day. In writing, we were working on our informative essay. In math, I moved the weekly review for tomorrow because I feel like my students needed the whole entire math hour to complete their topic test. And I'm so glad I did that because it ended up having to be that some students needed more time, which is why I had to move social studies. So I'll try to work on that lesson for tomorrow because we definitely need to review our empathy lesson and work on a caring community, which is our second bullying prevention lesson. So for our weekly review, we actually were working on finishing this one from last week, Thursday. Again, if you watch my previous episode, you know that on Friday I wasn't feeling well, so I left. So today was a lot of catching up with what I would have done on Friday, and this was one of those things. Then we went ahead and started reading The Sharks Under Attack. We used our space strategy to survey the text, and we went ahead and looked through all of the text features which included photos and illustrations as well as subheadings. And then we went ahead and had students share predictions. As we read, we analyzed the text. We understood that the text structure the students actually found to be problem and solutions. So the beginning of the article, they talked about a couple of problems that are affecting sharks currently. And then at the end of the text, they went over possible solutions for this problem. So after we did that, we went ahead and worked on finishing our graphic organizer on topic, main idea, detail, 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 and then you use that to write the summary. So that's what we ended up doing for reading today. In writing, we were trying to go ahead and work on finishing our essay. So I went ahead and I hadn't modeled it for the students. So I wanted to model starting with the introduction and then moving for the body paragraphs tomorrow so that students can look back at what they have written so far and make sure they had all the parts that they needed for the essay. This is the prompt that we're working on right now, and these are the sources. So we have one on coral reefs, and then we have another one on bees, and where are they? Because they're disappearing, and the energy in the Everglades. So we also had the students go back to their graphic organizer where they gathered their evidence so that they knew how to start structuring their essay and writing their first supporting idea. So it could be any of these. I'm having the students write two body paragraphs so they can choose any of these three to fully support. These are the text evidence that supports each one of these. So hopefully the students can work on that tomorrow and continue so that they can finish this essay. And then it was time for math. So we were working on our topic test for our chapter four, which was division, dividing by one digit numbers, using all the different strategies that we have been going over. And the students needed more time for that, so we didn't get to our social studies lesson. During recess today, I was updating the dojo points for the students, and some of them got to start spinning the wheel and getting reward stickers, so I'll continue that tomorrow morning so that those students that need to spin the wheel and get the reward stickers can do that. All right, I'm currently in a very hot classroom. My AC is not working again, so if you hear that kind of humming sound in the background, I have my fans going right now. And it is now 3.50, I think, and I wanna get out of here before 4 p.m. I think I owe it to myself after the kind of week I had last week and trying to rest this weekend, and I wanna to rest today. I'll be back to Orange Theory tomorrow and continuing to take my medication and you know, trying to make sure I take care of myself by resting and feeding my body with good nutritious foods. All right, I ramble. I will see you tomorrow. 
Hello everyone, we are now on Tuesday, November 16th, 2021. I'm coming to you at the end of the day. Today was one of those days where I did not have time to put the agenda on the board and that's perfectly fine because I was just following my lesson plans. So this morning, as soon as the students came in, they were working on their weekly language review. We worked on Monday and Tuesday since yesterday we were catching up from Friday. And then I had to split up my class because I had to go with my mentee to observe a teacher. I did get the students their essays that we have been working on yesterday so they can work on those and finish them. And then I picked up my students around math time and during math time, we introduced chapter five. And before we did that, we were working on the new weekly math review and we did Monday and Tuesday. We are now in factors, multiples, and number patterns. So that's what we started today and we'll continue that for the rest of the week. And then it was time for the students to go to lunch. After lunch, we continued with math. That's how we continued on to chapter five and introducing that. And then the students went to music. And after music, we finished up and wrapped up our lesson on empathy. And we did our lesson on a caring community. So I do wanna show you the little true and false paper that the students completed for the empathy unit. And I think that'll be it for today because I do have to get ready for Orange Theory. And I didn't have any of the highlights for today, but this was the little true and false paper that they filled out. So I actually recreated it from the one that was in the lesson that they gave us so that they had the options for true and false so they can circle it. But it's basically just 10 statements and students just did true and false as an exit ticket so that they review empathy and why it was important. And then for our lesson on a caring community, we kind of brainstormed what community meant to them. And this is what they shared in the blue. And then we talked about the fact that we are a community of learners in our classroom. And we also need to make sure that we are there for each other. So we went over the words empathy, differences, caring, tolerance, non-threatening, and of course, community. And we talked about what all of those words meant to us. So we had a really great conversation with this particular lesson. Tomorrow, I will go over the other lesson that we need to do, which is bullying lesson number three. So this is all part of our bullying prevention program, and we have five lessons that we need to go through. So we've so far done the first two lessons, and this week we do lesson three. So that is where we are right now. Tomorrow is another day, and I'll see you then. We are now at the end of the day on Wednesday, and it was our short day, and it felt like it flew by. So right now I'm getting ready to go to a faculty meeting and I wanted to kind of film a couple of clips from that because they gave me this today while I was teaching math. So one of our assistant principals came around and gave teachers this passport to wellness card. And on the back, it shows my different destination stops or spots. So I'm first going to the sunset vibes. So we'll see how that goes. And then we go to take me away and then we end with core values. So I'm going to be in school till 4.20 p.m. today. After that, I will go ahead and give you a glimpse of what our day was looking like. And also today during lunch, the students that met their iReady minutes got to get a nice little treat. They could either choose some popcorn that our PTSA brought, so they made some popcorn in the popcorn machine, or they could choose for a snow cone. So that was really nice for them and a way that the school is trying to encourage students to get their iReady minutes and pass their lessons each week. All right, so let's head now to Sunset Vibes and see what it's all about. I have to say I thoroughly enjoyed all of the activities our administration put together 
for teachers today. They called it Wellness Wednesday. So as you saw, there were three different stations or three different destinations that we went to. And mine started at like a painting with a twist type of activity where we painted that beautiful sunset. And I'll show you my final painting because I did go back to fix because a water drop fell on top of it and I needed to fix it. But after that, we went into the room where we were trying to visualize our vacation destinations. So that was really cool and creating a bucket list for travel. And the last station was of course, a yoga slash exercise stretching session, which I think everyone that attended pretty much enjoyed all of that. And it was very nice that they did something like that for us. I mean, I left there feeling very happy and relaxed. So very happy for that. So here's the painting. So in order to fix the little drop, I went ahead and I just did some clouds and then I went over my palm fronds and I added a little bit of like glow here under the sun. But how beautiful is that? I am going to write my name with a Sharpie and on the back, I'm going to put Wellness Wednesday november 17 2021 so that i remember and i am taking this home so i can show my family and then bringing it back to the classroom so i can have it by my desk so nice nice and i really appreciate our administration doing this for us all right so now let's take a look at the agenda for today and a few of the highlights here is our agenda as you can see all the different things that we worked on and we pretty much did everything on this very short agenda and on the side, I listed all the divisibility rules that we went over for our lesson today in math. And I also showed the vocabulary video on divisibility rules. So we ended the day in the computer lab because the students need to take their progress monitoring or growth check for iReady. And they didn't finish, not all of them did. So tomorrow morning, I'm just gonna start sending them to the computers we have in the classroom, along with using our Chromebooks, which I have to remember to plug them in so they charge and are ready to go for tomorrow. All right, so with this, I don't think I need to share anything else with you as far as the highlights because everything else is just as you saw on the board, nothing really new. I don't have to show you the weekly review. We usually do that every week anyway. So yeah, I think that's it for Wednesday. We can call it a day and I'll see you tomorrow. Hello and welcome from Thursday. It is November 18th, 2021, and I can't believe the week to me feels like it's just flying by. So I'm coming to you again, I think I said it, at the end of the day. So I wanna show you the agenda and then I have to get ready because one, it's raining outside. Two, I'm going to Orange Theory for my workout. So here's what we ended up doing. Now I haven't checked off things but we did things we started our day with the fsa reading practice test which was this bulky assessment right here it is many many pages long it is meant to resemble the real florida standards assessment so the students today answer questions 1 through 25 and tomorrow they'll finish the rest after that we did the read aloud for unit 3 and the shared read spanish was canceled here is what we had scheduled for writing and math lunch we did go to the computer lab so students can finish their progress monitoring and we ended the day with some social studies and science as you can see it was a very heavy testing morning so that took a while because i had to test them for 80 minutes 40 minutes then a break and then another 40 minutes and we also went ahead and started using our science source today for science which is this awesome resource that we've had for years now it is a little outdated because pluto is still listed as a planet but a lot of the information is still pretty current. So we are currently starting on our physical science section, which is this section right here. And we started with matter. So the students went ahead and looked through this, uh, the introduction to physical science. Then we went into matter. And I actually passed out the class set to the students so they can keep it in their desk. And we went over the physical properties of matter as well as the physical with the chemical properties. So we're looking at magnetism and using our senses to determine matter as well as measurements, right? Mass, volume, and density. So we'll continue using this throughout our science units. I don't have much highlights today. I mean, I used my planning time today to plan for next week. 
I'll talk to you a little bit more about those plans next week, which is a very short week, only two days, since next week, Thursday, is Thanksgiving. Wednesday is a teacher planning day, and although in the past I have taken it off, I'm thinking of just coming in and getting a lot of work done. So that's what I have in mind, and I think it'll be a nice relaxing day to do it. So that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> so right now, like I said, I'm just gonna grab my things and get going. I am wearing my Stitch Stay Weird shirt. The students love it. Every time I wear the shirt, I get a lot of compliments on it, so yeah. It was a really good day and I'm excited for tomorrow, which is Friday, and to get my workout on right now. So I will see you tomorrow. We have officially made it to Friday. So welcome, today is November 19th, 2021, and it is the end of the day. So let's go ahead and take a look at the agenda and go over some of the learning that we accomplished today. This morning, we continued with our FSA reading practice test and finish session two. Spanish was canceled, and then we continued on with our day with writing and then math, and ended the day with some science. I didn't check anything off, but believe me, we did pretty much everything, except we ran out of time for these two things, so definitely moving them to next week. We spent quite a lot of time in writing since we only have 30 minutes going over the writing rubric and having the students really look at the wording in there and I had to go over the words of course because some of the words are not really kid friendly so we went over the definition of them and examples of what each part of the rubric meant so that's why we spend most of our writing time doing that but in the past we have used the rubric that was in the wonders book but they let us know in our recent meeting with the district that we shouldn't really use that rubric since it is to the new standards that are not really in effect for the school year since the students are still taking their fsa assessment so we need to use the fsa rubric for the writing test and since we just finished the opinion baseline that's the one that we looked at and here is the rubric so we specifically just went over the higher score so this is purpose focus and organization so we went over all of this then we went over evidence and elaboration for the four point and then for conventions is out of two points so i just scrolled down to see the two points for conventions so that the students understood the criteria that they need in order to score the highest score possible so again i went over this with the students and said to them this is your success criteria this is what we need to work towards as we build our essays and we edit our essays and revise them little by little i'll continue to have the students really engage with the rubric and really understand it i also have a student friendly version with a checklist that i will introduce to them after this week so that they really have a way to understand how their essays and their writing is scored and what they need to really include in order to be able to get the highest score possible and be successful in their analytical text-based writing all right so then we moved on to math and in math we practice our factors and divisibility as as well as going over common factors and then the students took their mid chapter checkpoint so here's our go math book this is volume one we are almost done with this volume so let me just show you some of the things that we were able to go over so we did the problem solving for the other lesson that we hadn't finished from the other day which was on factors and divisibility we had already worked on this so we were going over these different problems and showing our work over here to answer some of them and then we went ahead and worked on common factors. So with common factors, I was going over the fact that when we have problems like this, we want to find all the factors for all the numbers we're working with and then circle the factors that they have in common. We went ahead and practiced it with this problem. And then the students went ahead and started working on their mid-chapter checkpoint, which will be a grade for math this week. So that's what we accomplished during our math time. Then it was time for lunch and then we had recess where I had the students spin the wheel, get stickers because it's Friday and I wanted to make sure I rewarded the students for dojo points that they had accumulated during the week and they're so excited. A couple of them got to spin the wheel, a lot of them got to get stickers, some of them are very close to the next sticker and I have some things that I need to purchase this weekend as part of those rewards that they earned. And then they went to PE. It's been a very rainy day. As a matter of fact, it's still raining now. I believe we have a cold front coming through. So 
temperatures are gonna go a little bit down Sunday to Monday, but it doesn't last here in Florida because we're so warm. So we'll have temperatures like in the lower 60s and upper 50s, and then it'll last for two days, and then we're back into the 70s. That's just how it is. We never have an actual winter. So then when we came back from PE, we were working in science with our properties of matter and magnetism, and this is what we worked with. So I did show them this vocabulary video on matter, giving them a little bit of an overview, but we did read the lesson from our science textbook, which is Elevate Science. So after we watch this video on matter, I show them the video on magnets because that is one of the properties for matter. So I went ahead and I also introduced them to magnetism and they learn really some cool facts about magnetism. A lot of them were surprised when we talked about the fact that our planet itself is a giant magnet and how our magnetic field is very important. I also had the students watch the study jams video on properties of matter. I'll link it down below. And this is free for anyone that goes to the website. You could play the video and then you could do the little test yourself where the students answer seven questions to test their knowledge of what they understood about matter. In this video, they do go over mass and volume and how that is used to find density. And then in order to dig a little bit deeper into magnetism, I went into Mayan and they have all the Max Axiom graphic novels. And this one was really cool because it's going over magnetism. So we started reading through just to kind of understand it. We didn't finish because we ran out of time. So we'll continue reading it tomorrow. So the students have a better grasp and understanding of magnetism as one of the properties of matter. It was a really great day. I mean, most of the morning was testing, but of course, then we had a little break. We watched the weekend wrap in vocabulary, and we also read an interesting article in New Zella. So right now I am getting ready to go, but another thing that came in today and I want to show you, I'm currently doing a reflex math competition with my students. The district is doing it as well, but when I told the students that the district was doing it, they were a little bit like, we're not gonna win, why should we do it? And I said, well, okay, well, I'm holding my own competition. The top three students in the classroom will receive different prizes. So I've been telling them that since October. The contest started October 25th and it ends on Monday, November 22nd. So some of the prizes that I am going to give to the students arrived today. So I wanted to go ahead and show you. First of all, we have a box from Amazon and I did have Amazon package it like a gift because I wanted to give it to the student. This is an Amazon Fire tablet, seven inch. Let me put it over here. I got this for the first place winner and I did include a tag and the tag doesn't have a specific name. It just says, Congratulations on winning first place in the Fall 2021 Reflex Math Classroom Challenge. I'm proud of you. Keep up the excellent work and effort from Ms. Marieli Sanchez. So the first place winner will receive this tablet. The second place winner will receive a $25 Visa gift card that I'm gonna purchase this weekend and have it ready for next week. And the third place winner, currently there are two people that are tied in third place, but the third place winner will get a book of their choice from Amazon that I will order for them. And they'll also get a sticker pack of their choice. First and second place will also get a sticker pack of their choice, similar to the stickers that I give for rewards, which look like this. These little types of sticker packs. I already started asking the students which ones they would like. So I know I'm gonna have to buy some Minecraft ones and some Animal Crossing ones and some Harry Potter ones as well. In addition to these prices, I also went to the Reflex Math like swag store or they sell little trinkets that you can buy as rewards for kids so i also purchased some things and now i'm thinking i need to purchase some additional ones because i think i'm going to have a couple people tied in third but these are the little things that i grabbed so these are the things that i bought so i bought three lanyards that say reflex and three little bracelets i don't know i think they're glow in the dark i'm not sure i also bought this class pack there's 25 of them it says Math Ninja, and on the other side, it says Reflex. It's a little tag that they can put in their book bag. And there's also these light-up necklaces. So if you pull this out, it activates the battery, and this glows green. So get the green light with Reflex. So I thought this was really nice as a little incentive to give to the students 
that are the top three in the challenge. I'm very excited for this and a couple of the students love contests. So I'm glad that I'm able to do this. And of course, I am going to create little certificates with their names on it to congratulate them on being one of the top three students in this current Reflex Math Challenge. I may do another challenge in the future, so we'll see how that goes. Probably maybe after we come back from winter break. All right, so that is all I have for you for this week. I hope you enjoyed coming along with us. It was pretty much a really fast-paced week. I can't believe we're already on Friday. Next week is a two-day school week with the students, and I am coming on Wednesday for my teacher planning day. So next week will be a very short vlog. And the following week after that, we start Vlogmas. I'm very excited to be able to come back and bring Vlogmas to my channel. I had started doing Vlogmas since 2017 when I first started my channel. I can't believe my channel has been around for four years now. I know I didn't say it. I didn't celebrate it either this year, but my YouTube anniversary is on September 23rd. So September 23rd was when I uploaded my first video ever, 2017. And ever since then, I've just been at it here with my channel i know i've had to take breaks here and there especially during the pandemic but it's just things that happen because i'm human after all and sometimes i do have to put myself first before anything else but i am excited to bring back vlogmas last year because of the pandemic and everything else that i was going through i was teaching 100 percent virtual last year i just didn't have the energy to pick up the camera and vlog for 24 days so i didn't have vlogmas last year and i have one year that I didn't do it but I am thinking of bringing it back this year so I'm very excited to do that those will be daily videos that will be going up on December 1st I did put a post in my community post here on YouTube asking what kind of videos you would like to see and at the last time I checked it seems that people want a mixture of classroom content and daily like day in a life kind of things so that's usually what I do in vlogmas anyway so I guess it won't be that much of a difference and yeah can't wait to do that I hope you enjoyed coming along with us if you did don't forget to hit the like button leave a comment down below let me know what you thought or any questions you may have also if you haven't subscribed please consider subscribing and hitting the bell for notifications so you don't miss any future videos I hope you have a beautiful magical day and don't forget to smile Hello dreamers, wishers, and magical thinkers. Thank you so much for making it to the very end of this video and for showing your support. If you'd like to subscribe, you can do so by clicking on my picture down here. You can also check out my latest videos here and here. Don't forget to believe in the magic that's inside you because you are capable of great things. See you next time.